it's with yet another JTalk crypto the branding of my channel hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification i do my best each and every day to give you guys the top picks in cryptocurrency and guys nothing has changed nothing has changed happy thursday guys it is 9 a.m and i am streaming on twitter i'm streaming on instagram and i'm streaming on youtube so let me know where you guys are watching me today uh, we're going to give these guys a little bit of time to come in and we're going to really start breaking down these Bitcoin charts. But I'm super excited, guys. As you guys can see, I got my iced coffee on deck. This is my insanely big McDonald's iced coffee. Nobody should ever drink an iced coffee this big, by the way. But here I am drinking this because this is what keeps me going through the day. Um, and guys, first of all, just want to talk about Bitcoin. I already had the chart pulled up. As you can see, I'm prepared today. I'm prepared. So uh, we're looking at the Bitcoin one day chart. We talked about yesterday the fact that this chart could really swing either way. Really, really, actually, I made the video yesterday when we were at our live. I made it right here and I was saying that I predict a sell off happening. But the fact that we could jump back up and create another shoulder on this head and shoulders pattern, which would still be bearish. Um, so that's still kind of what I'm thinking could play out. But again, guys, we're really at a decision making time. And that's why I wanted to make this video too, because this could also very easily be a bull flag. This could be a flagpole right here. And we could be seeing a possible break up in this situation. And if we decide that we want to break up, then we could create a new higher high with Bitcoin. And uh, we can soar right through this halving, which would be definitely something that I did not expect. We got the homie Surge right here saying, yo, yo, what is up, Surge? Um, oh, my goodness. Look who's here. Wow. Another market dump. 5K and Brett. Oh, okay. Yeah, there you go. Hey, I'm buying Brett. Got the homie right here saying he just dumped another 5,000 in Brett. I love it. That's what you guys got to do. You got to buy the dip. The time to get in on something, the time to be early on something, if you weren't able to catch the first pump, is the dip. Like, this is the beautiful time. Like, this is a beautiful time in cryptocurrency. And it's something that I'm, I've am i been waiting for. I've literally have been waiting for for the past couple weeks so. Um, the fact that Bitcoin is finally starting to hopefully retrace, like I really, guys, I really want Bitcoin to break down. You have no idea how bad I want Bitcoin to break down. I need to see a retest of these five, of these of this 50k level for me to feel confident in Bitcoin and for me to like throw some good money at it. I need to see that. Like that's good. Greetings, Jay. Analyze. Yeah, we're gonna talk about a lot of coins today, guys. If you guys want to hear about some coins, definitely uh, make sure you let me know in the comment section. Um, so we're going to talk about a lot about that, but again, all right, let's talk about Bitcoin. We're looking at the Bitcoin one day chart here. I always like to start macro guys. Whenever I'm looking at, uh, whenever I'm looking at charts, I always start macro. So, um, let's start with the, uh, well, geez, let's not start with trading view. Right. I think that this gives us a better macro, right. On, on Coinbase. So let's look at Bitcoin's macro chart. As you guys can see Bitcoin, creating a large flagpole right here and starting to possibly create this bull flag on the on the um, all time. The one month also we're talking about, you know, could possibly be seeing that bull flag really can break up or down at this point. One month, though, let's talk about the one month chart, guys. The one month is very telling. And that's why I always say start macro first and then start going down, 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 because you can see more what's going on on like a daily time frame the, the further you go down so let's look at this one month chart and what this is looking like right it's kind of looking like what crypto j said right just on tuesday it's looking like shoulder head shoulder and possibly more downside but again we could still crank up like what happens if we crank up out of this turbulence i really don't know i think what's going to happen if we can possibly turn up out of this which look at the seven day man this seven days ugly dude this is not mm -mm it's it's giving more affirmation that what i said on tuesday was right and that the fundamentals is uh is always something that's going to usually more times than not give you the uh result that you're looking for so um again bitcoin coming in at 70k today but can it see the pump that it wants it tried this morning right didn't we try this morning but it looks like we're starting to correct back down and possibly guys creating the other shoulder on the head and shoulders play that i talked about and honestly guys uh not a bad time to be short on the market in my opinion i know there i said it but again it's not financial advice i'm not telling you guys to go out there and go trade leverage or go short the market i'm just saying 
that uh, just like there's people that like to make money on the way up, we talked about on Tuesday, there's people that like to make money on the way down. And just like there's people that like to find good positions on the way up, there's people that like to find good positions on the way down. They like to open up uh, puts and they like to make money on the way down. But again, on Tuesday, I made a video saying that we're going to keep going down, right? I made a video on Tuesday saying like, hey, I told you, I told you that this was going to happen right here, right? I made this video right here. I was like, hey, I told you. This was going to happen. We created this new lower low and then we started dropping down. And I think we're going to keep going down. If we don't keep going down, then we're going to create another shoulder. And then I think we're going to uh, go down. But again, guys, our having's in seven days. So my mind is blown because honestly, I thought that the correction would have already came. I really thought that the correction would have already came. I thought that, um, you know, we would hopefully be seeing a bottom and maybe we are seeing a bottom. Maybe I'm wrong. Like maybe what I'm saying about us having one more pullback is wrong. And maybe this is the bottom that we need so that we can explode in price after the having Again, having coming up in just seven days. Let's look at some of this other uh, some of these other coins as well, because, you know, when Bitcoin moves, the whole market moves. But it just seems like the market is so undecided. Right. When Bitcoin is looking like so obviously going to go up. We see a lot of greed in the market. We see a lot of people taking a lot of positions. Uh, when we see Bitcoin so obviously going to go down, we see a lot of red, right? We'll see a lot of these projects that are really leaking bad. And as you guys can see, not much is happening in the market right now. Like things are up or down literally a percent because we're literally at the point of decision today. And guys, what is today? Today is Thursday, right? And I told you guys that decisions don't get made on Monday. Decisions get made on Thursday. Monday is a day for fake outs. We had a fake out on Monday. We covered it on Monday. And now we're seeing the real uh, price action on Thursday, right? Which goes right in line with what we've been saying on the channel for years. The fact of the rule of Thursdays and the rule of Monday. So again, are we going to see a breakout or a breakdown in Bitcoin today? That's why I made the video title the way it is. Is this the end of the bull cycle or is this going to be... Uh, the beginning of the super cycle like i i and again I, if, if we break down to 50k i just wanted to be clear that i don't think that it's the end of the bull cycle i think that it is going to be a retest which is necessary which is what we need so that our market can again rip to some new higher heights um so yeah that's what i'm looking for that's what i'm excited about but i'm also looking at some of these other coins guys because this is what you have to pay attention to and the bitcoin consolidation that i always tell you guys this is where the money is made this is where you pay attention and make money, you got to look at the things that are pumping right now, right? Look, okay, so right now, because Bitcoin's at a level where it's at right now, I don't really want to be looking at meme coins. Meme coins are not really going to tell me, and we will look at meme coins, we'll, we'll study them because again, there's going to be people making explosive games of meme coins and stuff like that. But right now is the best time to catch things on sale. Like look at Solana, uh, uh, 173 for Solana right now. Solana was almost two was almost $200 like a week and a half ago i want to make sure that solana is keeping up in volume because that's going to let me know if these solana coins are going to want to pump it again or if maybe i want to have some of my money in a in ethereum based coin or a coin that's on base um so pull out of bread uh i'm definitely not saying to pull out of anything again guys you got to be patient in cryptocurrency i'm saying that we can if bitcoin decides it wants to bleed i'm saying that we can see some red in the market and uh you know the smaller the smaller the market cap, the more red you're going to see. So always make sure that you understand that you that you know the risk when you get into the coin, right? Like you know what you can tolerate. So if you're not somebody that can tolerate a 70% loss in a day, definitely don't be getting involved in meme coins that are like under a 200 million market cap. But uh, again, Brett's not a coin that's under 200 million market cap. So it's not a coin that I would see correcting 70%. It could have some pullback. Yeah, it could have some pullback. Will it recover? I really don't know. Nobody really knows. Um, when these coins are going to recover. And that's why I said, you know, you got to pay attention when Bitcoin corrects because you want to pay attention to where the volume goes, where the volume goes will be a good indicator of if things want to recover, right? We look for good patterns and we look for good entry points on the way back up. We try to buy low and sell high. I know that's a crazy thought. It's a crazy thing to think that you that to you know get it when it's cheap right this is when nobody wants to buy right like when the price starts going down everybody's like uh i don't know uh i i like 200 dollars solana i don't like 175 dollars solana why it's just human psychology you know this is really we 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 um equivalent this to more risk than to buy a coin at the all-time high 
it, right? We, we, we equivalent this to more risk than buying a coin at an all time high. And that's kind of crazy. That's the, these are the little things that we need to get in our head as new traders that we have to stop thinking this way. We have to stop thinking this way. All the money guys is made at the bottom unless you're short on the market. Okay. The only time you're going to make money at the top, predicting the tops and making money on the tops is if you're short on the market guys. Cause again, just like we talked about on Tuesday, Warren Buffett told us that in our lifetime, we will find more companies that are overvalued than undervalued. Right? So buying that top, we should really, question that we should really question buying that top but if we can see some volume if we can see that we can make some money again might be a good opportunity to make a swing trade might be a good opportunity for scalps um but right now um if your plan is to just buy and hold in my opinion that's not a crazy plan because again i do think that bitcoin will um will shoot up to some new um higher heights but i think that it will take time i think that there will be collect corrections along the way um, again, March was one of the greenest months that we've had in Bitcoin for quite some time. Again, we were up like over 50 percent. And, uh, you know, I would expect that April would look a little bit different. Again, our fear greed index just last month, guy, was at 90. You know, we're still sitting at 76 percent right now. But what if Bitcoin decides it wants to crank back up? We're going to see this greed jump back right back up. And if that happens, man, when is the pullback going to happen? If that happens, then when is the pullback going to happen? Because, guys, just as fast as things go up, things go down. That's why we love meme coins so much, right? Because meme coins, they just tend to go up. And then you're like, man, 300, 400% gains. And then you wake up one day when you were, you know, too greedy. The, on the plays where you're too greedy, which we're always, guys, we're always victims of being too greedy. And that's why I tell you guys, regulate that greed. You wake up and you're down 70%. That's always a learning lesson. There's a lot of lessons, though, that you just kind of get through going through crypto that are inevitable. Like, right, if you're especially if you're a new trader, especially if you're just going to be hitting your head. But even if you're an experienced trader and experienced traders, you guys chime in on this, too, and tell me if I'm right or if I'm wrong, because even myself, even all the best traders, guys, we know we know the good practices and the bad practices. We know what we're supposed to be doing. We know we're not supposed to buy tops. We know we're supposed to check contracts. We know we're not supposed to be too greedy. But guys, it is human to be too greedy. Like literally, like we are, you are, you are trying to bet on people's greed. <laughs> you know, like that is a beautiful thing about cryptocurrency is that you can make money off other people's greed, but you can also make money on the way down off people's greed, which is something that, again, we've been talking about since uh, seventy one thousand seventy one thousand dollar Bitcoin before before it hit seventy four k. I was saying that Bitcoin was overbought before it hit seventy four k. I was saying that Bitcoin needed a correction before that. So again, the fact that we're coming in at sixty nine, it's it's good. It's definitely something that I think that we need. Um, but it's definitely something that I'm watching because again, we could still break down to even lower levels of Bitcoin. So again, we want to see Bitcoin start breaking up out of some of this resistance. Also, I want to look at Ethereum, right? Because Ethereum is another coin that I think a lot of people are going to be stocking up on. In my opinion, when Bitcoin pulls back, if you feel like Bitcoin is going to have more upside, you got to be crazy not to be holding any uh, uh, buying the dips on things like Ethereum and Solana because you're going to need these things, right? If you want to participate in our meme market, right, you're going to need whatever uh, native token is is there. So um you know if that is solana then you're going to need solana to be trading on solana and if that's ethereum you're going to need ethereum to be trading off of that but um as you guys can see eth correcting right down with bitcoin this head and shoulders pattern guys right haven't we talked about it so many times on this channel have you guys noticed that we talk about maybe four or five patterns on this channel do you realize that that we talk about maybe four or five patterns we talk about this ascending wedge right we talked about it with bitcoin that's how we were able to predict the top on bitcoin that's how we were able to know when we were overbought and when i was giving you guys like hey guys we keep making new highs and i know it's so exciting but i want you guys to be paying attention to the fact that these bullinger bands are getting smaller and smaller and we're going to see a sell-off sure enough we saw a sell-off right then we talked about then another pattern that we talked about right our head and shoulders pattern right shoulder head shoulder drop 
right? Bear flag right here. Boom. We talk about that too. Like in the bear scenarios, we talk about a couple patterns. In the bullish scenarios, we talk about a couple patterns. So don't think that you need to know every single pattern that there is in order to make money. You really don't. There's going to be times where you're not going to see things where it will, there will be a pattern playing out there, but maybe you just don't recognize that pattern because your eye is just not trained to see that pattern. I think the best thing that a new person could do is to go online, look up Forex patterns, trading patterns, and stuff like that. Guys, this, this game has not changed. It's been the same for years, for decades. Your freaking grandparents were using the same pattern. So um, literally, you could go out there and you could go print out one of these pages and just study the patterns. Look for bullish patterns. Look for what the heck Crypto Jay's talking about in his videos. Print that out. Put it on your desk. That's what I did, guys. When I got started in trading, I printed out that paper. I put it on my desk. And every day, I'll be watching Bitcoin. I'll be looking. Okay, what's going on? What's going on? Okay, I see this one's going on. Okay, how can I how can I time this? How can I be in on this? Okay, da, da, da. Okay, now I need to go watch more YouTubers. I need to go watch. I need to get more knowledge. Guys, the best thing that you can do in times of Bitcoin volatility, when Bitcoin is possibly going to give you a better entry point, is to invest in yourself is to invest in your trading, is to invest in your education, is to be on these live streams, is to hit that subscribe button, is to hit that bell notification so that you can know how to become a better trader, guys, because I've already done it. I've already been in the market for long enough to know all these patterns. Uh, that's why time after time I make these videos and you guys are like, wow, how does he know the future? Guys, it's not about knowing the future. It's just about knowing the um, the um all of the all the indicators, it's about knowing the patterns. And again, it's not going to lead you to being right 100% of the time. And if anybody on YouTube is telling you that they're right 100% of the time, you need to not follow that person. But again, your goal, guys, is to be right more times than not. You want to have at least like 70 to 80% times that you're going to be right uh, for you to feel comfortable as a trader. So Again, sometimes that might even involve keeping your money on the sidelines. And I know that's not a popular opinion, but if you're new in cryptocurrency, sometimes I would recommend keeping your money on the sidelines and just using a paper wallet or something like that, something that you could practice with and that you can get comfortable watching that account go up and down. Because some people, they get into uh, they get into the markets and then they watch, they, they have to learn it the hard way, right? They have to go put their money in the market. They put, they over leverage to like just all the rookie mistakes over leverage by the top. You know, they heard their best friend just made a, a billion dollars in Shiba Inu and now they want to get involved with it because their uncle just told them about it. They don't realize, they don't realize that a, a market cycle, they don't know what a market cycle is. Um, and they just get involved in the market when Bitcoin is at the tippy top and then they get totally burned. They, they never invest in their education. And I'm sure you guys know people like this. I'm sure you guys have already had friends that have gotten involved in cryptocurrency and they just didn't stay in the space because they felt like they got burned in it. Right. They felt like, oh, man, cryptocurrency just really burned me when really they never really put any effort into learning how to trade. They were just gambling and trying to get lucky. And because they didn't know what a market cycle was, they got their butts wrecked. So again, guys, that's why I talk about regulating that greed. That's why I talk about things that are unpopular, like taking profit. Guys, get used to taking profit. Get used to taking money off the table. Get used to pulling out your initial investment because the markets are volatile. Things go up and they go down. And again, be used to setting stop losses. Be used to having um, a plan. You should have an exit strategy when you get into a trade anyway, right? Um, so those are just, again, it's not financial advice. It's just good practice and it's what experienced traders do. But again, not financial advice. You got to you gotta have your own strategy. And that's why I tell you guys, go out there and do your research. Don't just listen to what Crypto J says. Go out there and study other people that use technical analysis, find indicators that work for you, find strategies that work for you and things that you agree with, things that you like. I know that you guys love me so much because I'm going to be honest with you and I'm not going to lie to you and tell you that, you know, Bitcoin's going to fly up to the moon when it doesn't look that way. You know, I will tell you that I do think that Bitcoin is going to fly up to the moon, but I think that it's going to take a little bit more time than people have patience for. And that's the thing about a market cycle, right? A lot of people don't have patience to stick around. They just want to make quick money now. And then when they're not making money in cryptocurrency, instead of buying the dip, they'd rather take out their money and they'd rather go buy some uh, useless liabilities instead of uh, doubling down on their investment or uh, maybe taking profit <laughs> before it hits the bottom, right? And then trying to accumulate more. Like those are things that, again, it just takes a different type of person. And for a long time, I didn't really understand it when I first got started in cryptocurrency, right? 
because I would just see so much red, right? I would be like, dude, some days I would be up and then the price would drop. Like I was just getting into meme coins for the first time and the price would drop like 50%. And I'm like, dude, what the heck, man? Like I was just up on this. Now I'm down 50%. Like I'm stuck. My hands are my, you know, my hands are in my head and all this stuff. And then I'm hearing people in the telegram talking about buy the dip. And I'm like, dude, what do you mean by the dip? We're down 50%. Like, dude, why would I buy the dip? You know, like that, that, that's my mentality coming into cryptocurrency. And that's a lot of people's mentality. It's not popular to want to buy the dip, bro. Like I'm telling you when, I don't know if you guys ever seen these little, uh, these little videos on Instagram and stuff that go around of all the people that are buying Bitcoin when it's at 12,000 and the line is empty. And then all the people that are in line to buy Bitcoin when it's at a hundred thousand guys, that is literally how humans work. People are waiting for Bitcoin to rip up to a new all time high so that they can buy it. That's crazy to me. Now, as an experienced trader, that's crazy to me because I know that Bitcoin tends to go on sale every once in a while. And historically, right, historically, Bitcoin, when Bitcoin goes on sale, it's been historically a good time to buy. Right. I know everybody says, oh, well, it's going to come crashing down. Right. That's what all the all the skeptics, all the people that are not really in the space talk about. Oh, you know, Bitcoin, it just tends to go on these uh, parabolic rallies and then it just comes crashing down. You know, how could you, why would I want to put myself, why would I want to put my money in something that just comes crashing down? Like, look, and hey, are they wrong? They're not really wrong. Remember that time when Bitcoin went to like five cents and they went crashing down? Remember when it went to like uh, 20 cents and they went crashing down? Remember when it went to 90 cents and they came crashing down? Remember that time Bitcoin was at $25 before it came crashing down? Remember that? You know, like think about all the people that sold an, a, tw a $2 Bitcoin, man, because they were not patient enough because they didn't have... Uh, the long sight and they don't understand what a market cycle is. And so when they see these things happen, they're just like, man, I guess I'm out the market. Guess I'm done. Guess this is the top. Do you believe that people really thought that $25 Bitcoin was the top? But I'll tell you what, I, I mean, shoot, I remember when Bitcoin hit $100. I ain't gonna lie. I thought, how can what, how can a Bitcoin be worth more than a $100 bill? It was beyond my comprehension. I didn't understand, you know, like even though I was already introduced to crypto, even long before Bitcoin was even launched, I was introduced to crypto during Silk Road when I was in high school, bro. I'm 31 years old now. Like that was, I've been knowing about this. I've been knowing about this. You know, I remember when they went public. I remember when Bitcoin hit a hundred dollars again, I, being at the barber shop, getting my hair cut and people talking about, man, I bought Bitcoin, da, da, da. And I'm, th I'm sitting here getting my hair cut like, dang, bro. Dang. I could have really been involved in Bitcoin before this even hit a hundred. Like I, I remember thinking that bro. And then sure enough, you start getting all these people that, tell you they swear to you that they've already been involved in the space way longer than you you know i'm getting like cousins and all these types of people telling me man i've been i've been up on crypto man you just getting up on crypto i'm like bro really though are you and then of course the market cycle comes all these people stop talking about cryptocurrency they start calling you crazy they start asking you about your losses oh how you doing how you feeling all this stuff and then guess what cryptocurrency goes right back up and when the market goes right back up all the games go right back up all those people come back with their tail between their legs. Uh, is it too late to get involved? Uh, can I join the Telegram? Uh, how do I get involved with cryptocurrency now? Okay. All right. Well, I think, guys, that we're going to see that. I don't think that we've seen re retail enter the chat yet. I think retail will enter the chat after the halving, in my opinion. Um, and so, yeah, that's kind of just what I think. I think that Bitcoin still has some correcting down to do. I could be wrong again, guys. Bitcoin could always take off and defy everything like you know, we could we could start trending back up here. But is it is it probable? It's possible, but is it probable, right? Because in this game in trading, we work off of probabilities, right? If there's more than one thing telling me that this is probably going to go up, then it's probably a decent bet that it's going to go up. If there's more things than not that are telling me that it's probably going to go down, then it's probably going to go down. Because again, guys, there's a lot of experienced traders there's a lot of bots that look for these patterns they look for these trends they believe the trend is your friend and they're looking to make money off of these swing trades they're looking to make money off these scalp trades and so again when the big when bitcoin reverses direction and it starts going down you're going to get a lot more bears in the market and that can drive the price down so that's what i do expect i do expect that the overall sentiment in the market is that we still need a correction but again i could be wrong right shoulder head shoulder usually a sign of a dump, but also bull flag. So again, guys, I wanted to make this video because I felt like it was like the perfect time. And because I always tell you guys that Thursdays are days of decision. 
and that we would probably see what's going to happen with Bitcoin on Thursday. And I have a funny feeling, guys, that we're going to see a big pump today or we're going to see big red. It's either going to be big green or big red, bro. I bet you. I bet you, bro. Like, I, I don't I'm not I'm not trying to really bet you. But I would bet I would be more than likely to believe that. Um, Yeah. Big green today or big red? What do you guys think? You guys think big green or big red? Or do you think we can consolidate from here? Do you think that it's a slow recovery up from here? Do you think that the having is not really going to have a great effect? Again, guys, we're seven days, 21 hours out from our having. Um, and a lot of people, including your boy Crypto J, thought that the sellout would the sell-off would already happen. So is this, was this our bottom? Was this our double bottom right here? That is a good indicator that we're going to start seeing Bitcoin trickle up. I don't know, guys. I really, really don't know. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, big green or big red would mean estimate of what percentage difference? Okay. Well, that's a good question. Let's see. Let's see. Why don't we see? Uh, 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 uh. Okay. So let's see. I'm thinking that from the top to the bottom. I'm thinking big green would put us above 73 and I'm thinking big red will crack us down under like 68 and then we could start capitulating from there and we can go down retest some of these lows right here and that's kind of what I would expect I talked about the fact that I do think that we're going to retest the 61 I think that we're going to break down below this retest the 61 and then possibly lower possibly in the fives talked about the 50k range also so I don't know again just my prediction that's just a prediction but what big red or big green would mean in this situation? I don't know. I don't think it's going to go directly down to 50K. Like, I'm not saying like big red as far as like all the way drop down to 50K, but I'm saying like it can be a little bit of a drop from here. Um, yeah, I know. base. Yeah. Well, bro, everybody's talking about Brett, bro. I know you guys love Brett. I know that you guys love that coin because, again, it it is seems like it's the one that's going to be up next. Right. It seems like it's going to be the next one that's going to hit the, you know, the top. Let's talk about it, man. Why not? Let's talk about Brett, dude. We're going to talk about it. Okay, I'm going to switch over this stream, but I got to figure out how to do it. I don't know if I can do it. Okay, I'm going to just pull up Brett on Coinbase, even though I don't like looking at coins on Coinbase. I like looking at text tools, but I just don't want to mess up the stream, and um, the stream's going kind of good. So, um, yeah. So, here's Brett coin. Let's make sure it's the same one. Yep. Okay. Brett coin starting to see a little bit of a pump. Of course, guys, this is a Brett on base. base. It's a base coin. So um, this is a coin that is probably, I feel like, probably one of the most uh, exciting coins on base. It's one of the most the coins with the most uh, chance, I feel like, of having some good upside. And it's just been kind of trending sideways with Bitcoin. Again, the chart pretty much looks like Bitcoin, right? Same head and shoulders possibly playing out. But again, I think if Bitcoin decides it wants to tear up, dude, no doubt, man, in my mind. And again, not financial advice that Brett is going to see some upside. That's so why I've been making a lot of videos on it because it is a coin that I do like and not financial advice, just entertainment. But um, this is this is not a horrible thing, in my opinion, to be seeing from a coin like this. Brett is still up 98 percent this month, though. So it's been seeing its run. Right. Also on the one year chart. Uh, let's look at the all time chart. This chart is really not as good as Dex. So we'll see me be, but uh, it is what it is. But again, I think that that Brett. Brett's future will really hang on Bitcoin, in my opinion. But I do think that it could have more upside. Uh, I just don't think that it. Uh, and also, am I still bullish on Bobo? Man, see, that's that's another thing, right? We talked about those coins, guys, that are under that 200 million market cap that can see some heavy volatility, right? Bobo coin coming in at, eight, at 83 million market cap. Let's see if Bobo is on here, too. Let's talk about that. Because, again, I told you guys, if Bitcoin decide that it wants to correct, that... Some of these coins will be hit harder than other coins, and it's going to really depend on the market cap of the coin. So as you guys could see, Bobo, this Bobo, or this not Bobo, this Bobo. Yeah, but there's a delay. See, so coin market cap, this is also why I don't like trading on here, because coin market cap has a delay. Like Dex Tools is real time. You could see transactions happening. I also like Photon because everything is just so streamlined, super um just easy to read but again uh bobo chart let's look at the bubble chart see what's going on with bobo bobo creating a nice descending wedge right here 
it's definitely consolidating down with Bitcoin. But again, testing some key key support right here for Bobo. And this could possibly be a bottom for Bobo. Hopefully be a bottom for Bobo. Hopefully Bobo can start retracing and that it didn't see its top. We saw heavy volatility, right? This is not the first time Bobo has seen heavy volatility. Look right here, right? Early days, right? I remember, man, this looks like shit, bro. Because I remember Shib had some little pumps like this. And I was like, man, this is the top right here, bro. This is the top right here. And then it would trend sideways and then it would have a fake out. And it would trend sideways for like a long time, bro. Look how long this thing was trending sideways before it decided to take off. Then boom, it had to take off, right? Took off, then boom, trended sideways. Then boom, took off, dropped down. Trend sideways, boom, tr pumped like crazy. Then had a massive sell-off. People probably thought this was the top right here and ended up, you know, going on, ripping onto some new all-time heights, creating shoulder head shoulder here and sold off. I don't know if Bobo is done, man. Anything could happen with these coins. And that's the thing, guys. That is the thing when it comes to these tiny meme coins is it matters about where the volume goes on the Bitcoin corrections. If Bobo cannot pick up in volume when Bitcoin corrects, then maybe it's something that you might want to evaluate having in your portfolio. But if it is something that looks like it's correlating in a positive way with Bitcoin, when Bitcoin decides to pump, it seems like more people are getting involved. If that's the case, then maybe, hey, maybe you might want to think about buying a dip on a project that you like um, that is doing well with Bitcoin. But again, I'm not telling you go out and buy Bobo. Never told you that from the beginning. I'm just letting you know these are kind of how the market moves. And if you want to be early on a coin, again, Bobo is very early. Bobo is still at an $83 million market cap, and that's why it's having the type of corrections that it has. I've seen worse corrections than this, buddy. I'm telling you that right now. I've, seen, I've been in the market when Bitcoin was making corrections like this. So, um, yeah, the fact that, you know, Bobo's down, like, significantly with the rest of the market, it's not really saying much to me because, again, the, the market is pretty much in a state of, like, they don't really know what's going on, but um, it is definitely something that you should be watching and paying attention to, especially if you don't have any kind of stop loss or anything like that. Um, you know, like there's nothing that's to say that this coin is going to keep going up, but there is a definitely a narrative behind it, right? The whole Pepe narrative. I think if you expect Pepe to do good, I think Bobo has a decent chance of doing good. But if you're not very bullish on Pepe, then I don't really know why you would buy Bobo because Bobo is just a meme coin. And it really, I mean, if you're not buying into it for the narrative, then I don't really know. Um, but again, if you're if you're betting on Bobo, you're you're probably betting on um, either maybe Pepe going up or maybe some of that interest that was in Pepe going into Bobo, um, which we've already seen it happen. We've seen it happen a couple times because when we started covering Bobo, I think it was at like a five million dollar market cap and it's at like 88 million now. So, um, again, when you make money in trades, guys, don't be afraid to take your money off the table. Don't be afraid to pocket that because, again, things tend to correct as you guys get. Look at Pepe correcting hard right here, right? This huge pump probably got a lot of people, right? A lot of people long in the market right here, and then they just got absolutely wrecked. But we talked about that stuff. The fact that that's what happens. But, again, Pepe looking like it wants to pick up in volume. Maybe if that happens, maybe Bobo also follows short, uh, closely behind. Uh, what do I think about Andy on base? Let's see what I think about Andy on base. Um, some of these base coins, I don't know if they're even going to pull up on CoinMarketCap. It might try to pull up a Ethereum version of it. So let me see if I can find Andy on base. Andy on base. Okay. I'm looking at Andy on base right now. And okay. I don't know. What am I looking at here? <laughs> What am I looking at here? Do I think Andy on base will do good? I've just seen a lot of uh, coins that have been getting uh, copied and put on base, right? They had, I just seen, what's it called? Put on base. They got Bonk on, on base now. They got Andy on base. Andy on base is down 4%. This thing only got 21 million market cap. It has 4.63 holders. I don't know. Maybe Andy does well. Maybe Andy does well. It is trending, it is trending on uh, Dex Tools right now, number seven. So maybe maybe Andy will be able to pump with Bitcoin as well. Maybe it will start seeing some uh, some positivity. Let me know what, what coins you guys want to see in that side chat. I'm pulling stuff up right now. But again, 
this this is a Bitcoin watch party. So I don't want to get too heavily involved in these meme coins because, again, I'm trying to make different types of content also for the channel, guys. I want to make like five to ten minute content that's like lean in content. And then I want to have some lean back content. So these lives, I, I want these to be lean back content. I want you guys to be able to just enjoy this content and just hold it as entertainment, guys. Because at the end of the day, again, it's not financial advice. It's just entertainment. So um, don't read too much into what I say. Don't hold too much of what I say. Like I'm a financial expert because I'm really not, guys. I'm just your homie Crypto J, and I'm just been trading cryptocurrency with you guys for years now, um, and just giving you guys m like my take on the market and what I think based off of uh, my skill set. But uh, we have some really skilled people also in our Telegram, guys. If you're not yet plugged into the Telegram, all you got to do is share this video on X and at JTalks Crypto, and I'll add you into our Telegram. We got a lot of people that are making like six and seven figures in cryptocurrency and have been doing so for the past like four years. So that Telegram's huge and you can get a lot of value out of um, being involved in that Telegram. So um, that's definitely something that I recommend if you're trading by yourself, if you're a new trader, you know, I don't recommend trading by yourself because that's a good way to get wrecked. I think the best way to trade is in a team. Even I think that and I'm an ex uh, experienced trader is that I do get a lot of value out of my team because again, sometimes I may miss something. Sometimes I might miss a coin or somebody might be like, Jay, how, co how come you haven't talked about this coin yet? Like, I don't know how I miss with with went right by me, bro. I didn't catch that thing until it was like at a billion market cap. So, um, Again, you want to have a team of people that could also bring things to your attention. You're going to benefit a lot off of that. And you could just ask questions, you know, because in cryptocurrency, guys, there ain't no technical support. There ain't nothing. So if you mess up, you got to figure out the answer. You got to find the answer. And sometimes some of, somebody might have the answer. So, again, your community is going to help you. Uh, in this bull cycle. And if you don't have a community, you could come join my community for free. All you got to do one more time is share this video on Twitter and at JTalks Crypto. And I'm going to be uh, picking up some people out of that. Maybe I'll pick up like 10 people out of that and I'll come add you guys into my Telegram. Um, so again, yeah. Uh, but talk about Bitcoin right now. Let's see what's going on with Bitcoin. Let's pull back up this chart because Bitcoin looking ever so volatile. Will we see a cheaper Bitcoin? Can Bitcoin hold 70K or will it Oh, look, breaking down, breaking down, Bitcoin break down. Let's see what happens, though. Let's let's look at TradingView because TradingView is really going to give us a better um, view of this because it's TradingView is a little more real time. I'm not sure that this is, is super real time. I think that Dex Tools is like real, real time. But I think that TradingView is definitely a lot more up to the minute than CoinMarketCap. And as you guys could see, this bear flag playing out, possible bear flag. Possibly trending to the downside. We're, we're hoping if you're if you're a bull in this situation, guys, you're hoping for a double bottom right here. You're hoping that we could, could, could create some support and continue heading up. But again, guys, this is a bear flag. This is this boom flagpole flag bearish. Not good. So right now, Bitcoin sitting on some key support. We're going to see what happens with Bitcoin, man. I'm really, really thinking that, you know. I was right from the Tuesday and uh, from the Tuesday's live stream when I said that Thursday would be our decision day and that it would probably end in a head and shoulders. I'm thinking I was spot on the money, boys. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section uh, if your boy was spot on the money. I don't know. Again, I, I'm, I'm just as bullish on Bitcoin as the next guy. So I don't want nobody thinking like, oh, Crypto J said Bitcoin's going to go to zero. I'm like, no, bro. I'm not saying it's going to zero. I'm saying that maybe it goes to 50K. Maybe. I ain't even going to say it's going to go down to 12. Some people will shoot. Some people would say it's going down to 12. There's some bears that will be like, man, this thing's going right to 12. I'm not even saying that, bro. I'm saying like, I'm saying one more pullback. I was saying it. I was saying it before. I was, I've was. i been saying one more pullback, right, guys? Don't somebody agree with me right here. Don't, don't make me feel like I'm crazy talking to myself on this camera, man, because I've been saying one more pullback before we take off. So hopefully this is the last pullback. I hope, um, again, I don't think that, there's a good chance. Like if we have to retest the 61K, honestly, I don't think that we're going to hold it. If we, if this price drops down and touch 61K, I don't think we're going to hold it. But again, if we hold this range through the having, like, right. If we could, if we could manage to trend sideways through the having, then maybe we can see some more price pump. I don't know though. And that's crazy to think. Yeah. Some of ourselves just need to buy dirt cheap. I know, man, I'm ready. 
Thomas ready for the dip too. I'm ready for the dip too, Thomas. I'm hoping for it, man. I'm really hoping for it. I've been hoping for this dip all March, actually. <laughs> actually, no, all uh yeah, all March. When when we were watching Bitcoin pumping like crazy in March, and I was like, man, everything's telling me Bitcoin's looking so good right now. I just need one more pullback. That thing decided to go up 50% in one month. I was like, boy, there's gonna be a it's gonna be a bloody April. I already know. So I'm not surprised, especially because again, we have our having. Uh, what's my opinion on XRP, bro? Oh, dog. Oh no, not my opinion on XRP. Oh man. Okay, I'll I'll give you I'll give you my opinion on XRP, and I'll give you my opinion on Cardano because they're the same, bro. I mean, if you're looking for a good stable coin, guys, if you're looking for a coin that's not gonna do, me, no, I'm just kidding. But uh, XRP, man, I don't know. I don't really like uh, Bitcoin coins that much. I was, I'll tell you what, man, XRP was one of the first holdings I've ever had. Okay. When I first got started in cryptocurrency and I was trading on Binance, XRP, my portfolio was like XRP. I had a, uh, what was the one that was, oh, I had Lend, which is now Algorand. I, I had Algorand before it was Algorand. I had it when it was Lend and it was trading like a couple cents, bro. I had XRP, I had XLM, right? Cause I was so big on the whole, the payment processor and all that and da da, and I was like, man, this is gonna, this is just gonna take off, and all the YouTubers talking about and big YouTubers, and man, that thing, that thing has not gone up much in price in the past, like what, seventeen, like since twenty seventeen, like I don't know, man, like if I'm gonna be involved, if I'm gonna have, if I'm gonna have my money in the market, then I kind of want to have it in something that I feel like is gonna move. I feel like I'd rather, honestly, I'd rather have Bitcoin, bro. I'd rather have Bitcoin than XRP, but maybe I'm crazy. Maybe XRP will go out to $100. I know there's some crazy XRP bulls. You guys think that the banks are going to get all involved in XRP and it's just going to shoot to the moon. If that happens, man, I'll be kicking myself the rest of my life, right? I'm going to be like, dude, I could have bought XRP. at like, dude, I think when I got involved in XRP, that thing was like, I don't even remember. It had to have been like maybe like six, seven cents or something like that. I remember when XLM had just hit 10 cents. I don't even know if it's much more than 10 cents right now because let's look at XLM, man. I want to see <laughs> I want to see if this thing's over 10. It's at 12 cents, bro. Literally, bro. Literally. So I don't know, man. I I look for volume, dude. Dude, I'm looking for volume because I'm trying to make some money. Uh, costly remind you. I know, Thomas. I know all, all the XLM. Look, got it. I'll put Thomas. I'll put Thomas on blast because I know all the XLM people. They're going to put me on blast if XLM or if XRP. I'm sorry. If XRP decides that it wants to take off, you guys could definitely come back and be like, hey, Crypto J, I know you weren't an XRP guy. But are you now? I might tell you yes. I might tell you that XRP made a believer out of me. But right now, it just hasn't been having the type of uh, the type of volume that I really want to see for my money to be in a coin during this uh, during this bull season. Because you know, may maybe I'd buy it. Maybe I'd buy it if Bitcoin decides it wants to drop down crazy, crazy. That's when you know. Again, I'm shopping blue chips. I'm already shopping blue chips. Though. I already told you guys at the beginning of the video that you know the best things I that I see on this chart right now are Ethereum and Solana. Um, but I'm buying things that are like DeFi because I feel like I'm going to need those coins in order to get into this meme market. Bitcoin decides it wants to take off. I want to be involved in the meme market. And I just can't do that with XRP unless they start coming out with some XRP memes. Then I don't know what's going to happen then, huh? If XRP builds its own, uh, has its own ecosystem and starts having all these meme coins, I don't know what's going to happen. But right now, um, we're still waiting on xrp to be adopted by a lot of banks and it is i'm not saying that it hasn't been adopted that banks are not already training using xrp and stuff like that again um it's just not being used enough for the price to increase i guess so i don't know again maybe i'll be eating my words about the xrp stuff later uh find us me coins on xrp leisure oh my god yeah no i don't know we'll see we'll see uh let's look at some other stuff let's see what's pumping right now Anything looking like a good buy opportunity? What's gonna happen with Dogecoin, man? I don't. I, I'll tell you what I think is gonna happen with Dogecoin. I don't think this is gonna do nothing, man. I think Dogecoin's days are done, dude. I think Dogecoin was kind of like uh, the sacrifice that we needed for the meme cycle to happen, though, right? Doesn't we were like, okay, guys, we need a coin that's really gonna pump all these other little poo coins. So we just we we're like, all right, Doge, it's your it's your moment to shine. Elon must put it up on a pedestal, and then that thing just took off. And then after that, we watched Shib. We were actually early on Shib. If this is your first time catching this channel, um, we were like in the first 2,000 wallets of Shib. So we were super early. We already saw the fact that people were losing interest in Doge and this community was growing so much. And we were able to catch a couple other coins off of that trend too. We caught like Flocky and a bunch of other dog coins and stuff like that. And that's really 
what I expect to happen. You know, I expect some of these coins to run like maybe maybe Pepe coin is the uh, of, is the Doge coin of this season, right? Of this cycle, maybe Pepe coin is gonna go crazy, and then maybe with coin was the Shiba Inu, right? Maybe with coin was like the sleeper, dude. Like with coin was just sleeping, and that thing just cranked up to to five million, or maybe our Shiba Inu coin has yet to reveal itself. Maybe it's yet to reveal itself. Maybe it could be Brett coin. Maybe it could be the dog with hat. Maybe it could be uh maybe it could be Pepe coin, right? Maybe it could be any of these coins. Could be the next coin that shoots up and uh everybody will be saying, Man, I thought that coin was a scam. And it turns out everybody bought into it. And that's the thing with meme coins, guys. Sometimes they just don't make any sense. Sometimes they just don't make any sense. It's all based off of a narrative. And uh in my opinion. Another reason why I'm not super bullish on XRP, even though it could be a great project, even though it could have tons of utility. A lot of things, guys, have a lot of utility. Probably my favorite cryptocurrency of all that is a blue chip that has a ton of utility is Chainlink. Believe it or not, I love Chainlink. I love Oracle coins. I, I love the utility of Chainlink. In my opinion, everything tells me from a logic standpoint that Chainlink should do well because there, a lot of these blockchains rely on Chainlink in order to even be able to move. So the fact that Chainlink has not moved is also an indicator to me that retail and even the people that are in the crypto space, they they just want meme coins. They just want meme coins right now. It's not time for XRP yet. Maybe we're just too early on that. Maybe honestly, like maybe we're like way too early on something like that. Our market cap is still sitting at 2.5 trillion dollars guys if you look at some of these other companies there's companies that are bigger than the entire cryptocurrency space so um again uh nvidia did a trillion dollars in a year you know like that's insane the entire cryptocurrency space 2.5 trillion dollars and uh this space has been around for a little while now but again we're just starting to see the integration that we need we're just starting to see countries get involved. We're just starting to see banks get involved. We're just starting to see uh, celebrities get involved, major influencers. And when celebrities and major influencers get involved, guys, that's when retail gets involved because retail doesn't want to listen to Crypto J when Bitcoin's at 12,000, when Bitcoin was at 16,000, they didn't want to listen to Crypto J, but retail will go listen to Tom Brady, shill, uh, you know, Bitcoin and, and all these other things when they're on an all-time high. That's just the way that retail works. They really don't understand the market. And that's why I'm not super bullish also on XRP, even though, again, just like Chainlink, I love Chainlink. It's great. I've invested in XRP. It was one of the first holdings I had, bro. So it's not like I don't see the value or anything like that. It's just, you know, from my experience, it's just felt like a stable coin holding that thing. And it's caused me nothing but disappointment in the short term. And um, I was I just feel like more money is just going to go into the meme market. And so in my opinion, I, I would rather accumulate things on the dip that are like Ethereum and Solana and things that I can use to purchase meme coins on those blockchains, because I think that if Bitcoin recovers, I think that it's going to recover. But again, who's to say that Bitcoin's even going to recover? Who's even to say that? Like Bitcoin could literally drop down and continue dropping into the halving. We just don't know, guys. We just do the best we can with our indicators um, to to keep track of stuff. Uh, we're early on crypto, Jay. Oh, I know that we're early on crypto, brother. I know that we're early on crypto. I've, I've been saying it. I, I still think that, like I said, I think at the, the top of the cycles, guys, is going to be somewhere between one fifty and $200,000 Bitcoin. But again, guys, market cycles are not parabolic runs. They are not straight that straight lines up. They are ups and downs and sideways motion and days of nothing you know like yesterday was really a day of kind of nothing right and then today we're having a day of red right it just it is what it is some days are boring in the market some days it's easy to make a video because everything's pumping and you guys are just loving it but uh today is just one of them days where the market's just a little bit boring so a lot of stuff to be watching but in my opinion guys i don't know how much the market's gonna move i do think that thursday is a decision day so i do think that big green or big red today so, but I don't know how much, I don't know how much, but I do think that it's going to come and it could come a few hours after this video. It could come. Um, I don't think it's going to come tonight. I think it actually, I think it will come within the next few hours of this video. I don't think it will happen tonight. I think whatever's going to happen with Bitcoin will happen within probably the next four to four to six hours. If I was wanting to play on something, I would be playing on the four hour chart right now. 
That's just me, though, again, and I, I do think that it'll be probable downside. But again, maybe this is a descending wedge on this one day, and maybe we could find a bottom here and we could start trending upward with Bitcoin. It's kind of what everybody's banking on. Um, and yeah, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. What do you guys evaluate Bitcoin at? Do you guys think that Bitcoin is um, still going to have some upside? Somebody asked me, is there still big upside on Shiba Inu? So a coin like SHIB, honestly, let's see. Let's see Shiba Inu coin. Of course, man, I'm going to love SHIB, man. SHIB, Shiba Inu has been a special coin. You guys already know on this channel. I should get a SHIB tattoo, huh? But yeah, I mean, I love SHIB. You guys know I love SHIB. I've been talking about the fact that we had a good solid support around this twos range, um, around 2,500 even. And it, we've we've pretty much held it. So that, in my opinion, is good. I do think that if Bitcoin wants to have some more upside, that SHIB could probably see some more upside. I mean, this is a big community. I've, and some of the buy orders that come in on SHIB also, they're freaking huge, man. Um, so it's hard to say um, what the future of SHIB will be. Again, SHIB on its all-time chart right here is creating new levels of support. So maybe this is what it needs to start climbing up. Like, look look right here, right? We went, we trended, it looked like it flatlined and then we shot up and then we created some support and then it shot up and then it dropped down and then it started trending sideways, created some support before shooting up. So maybe again, maybe we're starting to create some support and this thing could trend a little bit sideways and, and continue its up swing with Bitcoin. But again, everything in my opinion is kind of depending on Bitcoin and SHIB is up at a $16 billion market cap. So you do also have to consider like how much upside can a project like SHIB have if it's at $16 billion. And if this thing needs to go to $32 billion for you to double your money, you know, then, you know, if that happens, I'll tell you right now, if SHIB, if SHIB decides it wants to crank up, I'll tell you right now that Flocky, Flocky coin is probably going to want to crank up too. And I would personally rather be in a trade like Flocky because Flocky's at a $1.8 billion market cap and SHIB's at a, at a $16 billion market cap. So um, again, can SHIB do well? SHIB probably will do well. I'm definitely very bullish on SHIB. Can SHIB make a new all-time high? Yeah, absolutely. I think SHIB could definitely make a new all-time high. I know that that's not a popular opinion, but again, I think that a lot of the things that happens in cryptocurrency, they just kind of don't go according to what you would think. Again, I would think that Chainlink would be a top 10 cryptocurrency, but here we are with Dogecoin saying in the top 10 um, and a lot of other coins that are seeing the top 10 that in my opinion have no business being in the top 10. So um, can SHIB see some more upside? Absolutely. SHIB has a humongous, um, a humongous base and there's a lot of people that are still not holding cryptocurrency. Like Thomas said, we're early in cryptocurrency. So again, guys, I don't, it's, it's hard to even predict prices in cryptocurrency. That's how early we are. Again, our entire market cap is at $2.6 trillion and there's companies that are bigger than the entire cryptocurrency space. So a project like Shiba Inu, I don't know where it could go, bro. Honestly, this could be the most that it could go. Maybe 16 billion is like crazy for SHIB. Like maybe it was just like a fake out. I don't know. But like, dude, like what if, what, what happens when our, when our cryptocurrency market cap goes to 10 billion, what will SHIB look like? Will SHIB still be here? Will SHIB still be a top 10 cryptocurrency? Will it lead the, the meme coin race? And will no meme coin ever outperform Shiba Inu? I don't really know. You know, like Bitcoin just, Bitcoin takes off and will anything ever uh, catch up to Bitcoin? Will Ethereum ever catch Bitcoin? Will Ethereum ever, will the great flipping ever happen? Remember, remember last cycle we were talking about the great flipping, right? The great flip, right? We talked about that so much last season. Well, guess what, guys? Is Are we close to the great flip? Not really. We're not really close to Ethereum flipping Bitcoin, not anytime soon, at least. So maybe, you know, and again, I mean, even Doge is, is managing to stay above SHIB, but maybe it's maybe, you know, maybe SHIB does flip Doge. Maybe maybe nothing flips SHIB after this, or maybe SHIB will be flipped one day. I don't really know, man. It's really hard to say. You think base chains can outperform Solana memes? That's actually what I was thinking the other day. I was like, you know what? I was really paying attention to that trend just yesterday because a lot of these projects on base are really running. And we got, we actually caught Brett pretty early, I think, because uh, I think if, if the base chain also takes off, then maybe Brett could be our next whiff. Because in my opinion, like what what's the biggest project right now on base? Is it Brett? Is Brett the biggest project on base at almost a billion dollars or 
maybe I'm mistaken. I don't know, but I, I haven't yet to see a base coin that is bigger in terms of market cap than Brett. So that's why I like Brett too, because Brett is the biggest coin on base and that's Coinbase's thing. So, I mean, I don't know, like, I like it, but again, it's not financial advice. I'm not telling you to go out and buy Brett. I'm just telling you uh, that, you know, Brett could possibly see some upside. It could also see some downside, you know, Brett could, Brett could correct with this market and not come back, man. And that is the thing with cryptocurrency. That's why I always tell you guys, you know, only invest money that you're willing to lose. Do not over leverage into trades. You don't need to do that to make a lot of money in cryptocurrency. You don't need to throw your whole bank account at it. You just need to be early and you just need to be right one time. Guys, you just need to be right one time. That is that is powerful right there. And that is the beauty of trading with cryptocurrency. That's what differentiates us from uh, stocks and commodities and stuff like that. I mean, stocks and commodities, you're going to have to be right in the long term. You could be right in a, in a scalp trade in cryptocurrency, man, and, and make some serious life-changing money. It's It doesn't happen. It, it Well, it happens every day, actually. I can't say it doesn't happen all the time because it happens every day. It just doesn't happen to everybody every day. It happens to some people in the market every single day, though. So um, somebody is getting lucky. Every day, somebody's getting lucky. I had somebody hit six figures off of Bitcoin's consolidation when it was correcting from 74K down to 68 for the first time. That dude became a millionaire and he didn't make it off of shorts. He made it off of meme coins. Um, so again, you, you can get lucky in meme coins even during times of Bitcoin consolidation. But I will say also that the market is going to be a lot harder to make money in uh, when Bitcoin's looking a little bit funky because People just ain't eating a lot of money into the market. A lot of bots are not getting triggered yet. A lot of people are sitting in limbo, right? They're not at their take profit. They're not at their stop loss. So they're just kind of sitting, waiting it out, trying to see what's going to happen. That's why we don't see a lot of movement right now with the market. But again, I do expect some movement today because today is Thursday. And uh, usually we have market movement on Thursday. So that's why I wanted to make this live chat uh, as a Bitcoin watch party because I feel like Bitcoin's going to do something today, guys. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm maybe maybe I'll be going live in a couple of days, being like, "Hey, guys, guess what? We're still here, We're still here. Nothing happened." So, um, yeah, uh, just pretty much in limbo with Bitcoin right now, and I don't know which way it's going to go. What do you guys think? You think Bitcoin's going up, or you guys think Bitcoin's going down? I'm probably going to cut the video because we're getting pretty close to an hour. But if you guys want to come trade with me on my Telegram, like I said, all you got to do is at JTalks Crypto. Uh, share this video on X at JTalks Crypto. That way I'll know that you did it. Then I'll add you to my Telegram. Or if you don't have Twitter, all you got to do is add me on IG and then just DM me and be like, hey, Jay, I want to join your Telegram and I will get you guys plugged in. And yeah, so if you guys like this video and you got a lot out of it, make sure you hit that subscribe button, that bell notification. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace.